when was another time when the Leafs were up by three goals and lost? Yeah, let's not talk about that because it happened again tonight. Leafs were up 3 nothing, and in a split second, pretty much, it was a 3-3 game. Leafs scored to make it 4-3. They tie it up to make it 4-4, and they win in a shootout. New Jersey Devils beat the Leafs 5-4, as I said, in the shootout. But Austin Matthews broke out, so that's a huge positive out of the game. But you know what? Let's look at positives. First off, I have a question for you guys at the end of the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that one. All right. Now, start with the goalies. Corey Schneider was in net. Not the Corey Schneider we're used to seeing, though. Corey Schneider was not too good today. Four goals on 31 shots. Four goals in general isn't really good for Corey Schneider, so that was very interesting to see. Jonas Enroth, the net for the Leafs, he gave up four on 30. Not good. Not good. And that'll be my question at the end of the game. Uh, at the end of the video, you guys will find out soon enough. So let's start with the scoring. I guess Austin Matthews finally breaks the schneid. His seventh of the year, assisted by Zach Hyman. And this line, I don't think, had Nylander on it too much uh, tonight. So that was very interesting. And uh, finally, just, just fine. It was a greasy one, but you know what? Finally, all the great, glorious, beautiful chances he's had, and he couldn't put it home, and he puts home a greasy one. Okay, whatever. It's in the back of the net. That's what matters. Nazem Kadri uh, gets his eighth of the season, assisted by Austin Matthews himself. Mm. And William Nylander. A lot of people thought it was Austin Matthews' goal again, but Kadri had to poke, poke it home, so that made it 2 nothing. Yeah, Austin Matthews wasn't done yet in the first period, may I add. He scores his eighth of the season, assisted by, of course, Zach Hyman and Connor Brown. So Austin Matthews had a three-point first period. So to all those people saying, oh, Austin Matthews isn't going to be too good. Line A's better. Line A's better. Line A's going through a slump right now. Austin Matthews just had a three-point game. Was Austin Matthews all of a sudden the better player? Like, come on. Stop with this. They're both great players. I think just I just think first line centers are more valuable because <laughs> the Leafs haven't had one in forever, but they got one now, and man is he good! But that lead, that three nothing lead, didn't last long. Second period underway, thirty two seconds in, Travis Ajax scores. Three ten into the period, uh, Bo Bennett scored. Five thirty into the period, Camilleri scored. <laughs> five five and a half minutes in, and we're tied. But don't worry, don't worry. Matt Martin scores four, three to four minutes later from the from the tying goal to make it a 4-3 game. Matt Martin, tip of the cap to him. You know what? People saying that's an awful contract you gave him. No, I wouldn't say so. It's greasy. He's a greasy guy. Physical, grindy player. So we like. And as a Leaf fan growing up, he gets his first goal as a Toronto Maple Leaf. All the power to him. His third point on the season, by the way. Very happy with that so far by him. And that was assisted by Nikita Sashnikov and Nikita Zaitsev. A couple of Nikitas getting assists in that one. That's what we like to see. Sashnikov and uh, Zaitsev looking pretty good this year. And third period, don't even know how to pronounce his name. Not even going to try. Heard his name on the broadcast. Still don't know how to pronounce it. He, tie he ties the game, and then they go in the shootout. And Corey Schneider... Or Jonas and Roth. Eh, you know, kind of... You don't really know who you're going to choose there. Yeah, right. Corey Schneider all the way. I didn't... I didn't feel it. And it was clear as day. The Leafs lose. Third straight loss, by the way. If you didn't notice. It sucks. It sucks. I know we're a rebuilding team. I know the pain, the blah, all that stuff. But it just sucks to see your team lose as much as they are. But you just want them to win. Maybe that's impatience talking. I don't know. Nonetheless, though, first period was good. Third period and overtime were pretty uh, entertaining. That's for sure. And uh, before we wrap up the video, I just want to say that Austin Matthews is just uh, two points behind, you know, Patrick Laine in points. 
just just to throw it in there, you know. Um, something I want to talk about before we end off the video. Jake Gardner and myself, and probably most of Leafs Nation, have a love-hate relationship. We either love the guy or you hate him at one moment. You could say, oh, he's a great player. He's a great skater. Look at these moves. Oh, so beautiful. What the heck was that? What was he? Oh, and then it's a goal. Oh. You know, it could be one of those thoughts. It happens so often with Jake Gardner where he, he scores a goal and you're like, that's beautiful. And then he does a garbage play and you're like, what was going through this guy's mind when he made the play? Like yesterday. Or last game. Or yesterday. Jake Gardner scores. We're like, that's a beautiful shot. The Leafs had the lead at the time. All right. Good shot. Beautiful chain, you're right through the screen, mm, beautifully placed. You know, and then he has Montreal, he drops the puck right in front of him. He, he puck floats towards the front of the net, he grabs it, drops it at his feet in front of Freddie Anderson. Are, are you stupid? Caused a couple soaring chances. Some of them, I'm like, uh, uh, he's, uh, a lot of brain mistakes. Not sure really why, but a play he made today stood out to me and kind of gave me the old, you know what? That's what I like to see. I don't care if sometimes I really get mad at you. That was a great play. Ben Smith got absolutely plastered by Devontae smith Pelly. We saw that. It sucked. We thought, well, there should be, might be a penalty on that. Nope. Jake Gardner didn't even give, it, give the referee a chance to call a penalty because he jumped pretty much Devontae smith Pelly. That shows me a teammate. You know Devontae smith Pelly is tougher and maybe stronger than you are but at that point you don't care he went after your teammate he could have hurt your teammate bad and he jumped in and basically went to the rescue kind of thing in a fight he would have gotten destroyed but he stood up for his teammate no matter what and that is what we like to see tip of the cap to jake gardner on that play i i love it i absolutely love it that was nice so that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys like the video, hey, hit that like button. It was a good game overall, I got to say. Subscribe if you guys really like the videos. And, uh, you know, comment down below. What do you guys think of Jonas Enroth and Kerry Ramo? Because Kerry Ramo is skating with the Leafs. He's coming back from the injury. Could be slotted in this play one or here and there. But what do you think? Kerry Ramo pretty much started for the Calgary Flames last year. Do you think he might take Jonas Enroth's spot? Because he hasn't played too well. What do you guys think? We'll talk to you guys Saturday night. Leafs, Caps. Oh, he's in town. Ha! It's going to be fun, right? So we'll talk to you guys post-game. Leafs, Caps, and in about 15 minutes, Raptors post-game. We'll see you guys then.